Happy Thursday class, uh, fourth session of the week, and I hope you're feeling well uh, at this point of the week. Um, just pay attention to uh, any fatigue or any soreness um, or overall you're just needing to take it slower today, okay? Um, like I've said before, if you need to pause at any time during the workout and rest, um, and then get right back into it. That's totally fine, obviously, um, for your sake. But it is the fourth session of the week, so we really want to try and challenge ourselves at this point and just making sure that we're, you know, going along with those guiding principles and breathing is that number one most important um, principle. And so today um, we're going to Go ahead and start with our warm up with our chest expansion. As usual, we will go through the first set one exercise at a time, slowing everything down, just really warming up. And then that second time through, we're going to see if we can either double up. We'll repeat the same because we are combining some exercises today. All right, come on down for cat and cow. making sure that you're choosing your exhale and choosing your inhale on one or the other. And dynamic. Seated position. Go ahead and come on down, bring your knees with you. <clears throat> Do our 100 exercise, legs are vertical, and go ahead and begin your pumping. Hopefully, you're getting better at the hundred. Feeling stronger, more capable of completing it. If not, of course, just rest that neck and lower those legs. All right, some leg circles. Lift one leg up, bend that knee, open that hip, and we're gonna begin with some small <clears throat> circles and medium. Back at the top, reverse, small, keeping that hip open and medium. Not too many leg circles today because it's the end of the week. Other leg, up, bent, open, small, and medium. At the top, reverse, small, and medium. All right, we are going to begin. Uh, today we're gonna to go into a single leg into a leg extension. 
So what it's gonna look like is this. <clears throat> Both knees start in, head and shoulders up, scooping, chin to chest. I'm gonna let one leg go, pull this bent knee in, and then I'm going to extend this bent leg up and switch legs. Pull the knee in, slowly extend and drop as you pull the other knee in. So nice and slow, focusing on your scooping. Nice, consistent breathing. And rest. <clears throat> Next one is our double leg. Um, our double leg today is with an arm sweep, so our complete traditional double leg exercise. So go ahead and bring both knees in, head and shoulders up, scooping chin to chest. We're gonna let go of the legs, let go of the arms. Sweep around, pull. Chin to chest, scoop. Big breathing. One more. And rest. All right, bridge, a little different today. I'm gonna to be a little creative with the bridges. Arms are at our sides. Go ahead and put your feet a little bit closer together than normal. Not touching, but close together. Uh, the bridge is the same. We're gonna go ahead and lift those hips. We're tightening the glutes at the top. We're stabilizing our back at the top, but we're gonna separate the knees at the top and then we'll lower, okay? Arms will stay neutral, connected to the mat. Here we go, we're gonna lift, separate the knees, bring the knees together and lower. And lift and part together and down. Up and out and in and down. So we're just staying a little bit longer at the top and up one more time and out and in and down. Okay, so our crisscross, um, legs are bent. Go ahead and bring your knees in. And we're going to crunch every time our knees come in. So I am going to keep my shoulder blades on the ground, hands behind the neck here. Actually, let's go ahead and extend our arms out here. So I'm going to lift like a crunch, but my hands are in front of me. I'm going to lift and rotate as I extend the bent leg. So I come across the bent leg, extend the other leg, nice and slow. So lift on the exhale. One more. Good, and rest. Just a little different, a little variation of the crisscross. <clears throat> Making sure that we're slowing everything down this first time through. <clears throat> All right, so legs are bent for our straight legs. Um, we're going to split our legs so this is a little bit of an advanced exercise. We're gonna try it though. Um, the position that we start in is bent leg, but the position that we finish in is straight leg stretch, okay? So keeping our head and shoulders up off the mat, scooping here. I'm going to start with knees in, and I'm going to simply extend one leg 
down as I extend the other leg up into single straight. Pull my knees back in and switch legs. Gentle pull on the back of the leg. So in and out, in and out. Scooping, breathing. It's a nice little variation of single straight as well. Last one. Good. Lower your neck, keep your knees in. Let's hug this out here. Slightly lift the tailbone up off up of the mat. All right, both legs all the way up, hands behind the neck, lifting that head up off of the mat, shoulders up, double straight, both legs down, exhaling here, lifting, inhale at the top, exhale, Inhale. Down one more time. And feet down. Head down. All right, so our roll up holds, we've added that arm sweep, so slight bend of the knees. Go ahead and bring those arms back behind your head. We're still in this holding position, <clears throat> so everything is engaged. That includes scooping, pelvic tilt, squeezing from the inside out, glutes are engaged, and we're exhaling as we lift. Here we go. Up. And down. And up. And down and up and down one more time and up and down go ahead and roll to your side push yourselves up So we have our roll down hold. So we've been creative with this exercise as well. And today we'll do the same. Um, we're simply just gonna pull our hands towards our chest, very similar to the rowing exercise, which we will go into or transition into after this exercise. <clears throat> so we always start with our arms up, flat back for roll up, roll down holds. Um, when we come back, we collapse our spine and lean back. I want you just to pull those hands towards that chest, elbows out. Lean forward, reach up, flat back. Exhale, drop it down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Last one, exhale down. All right, go ahead and extend those legs. Now we're going into rowing. So arms outstretched, hands interlocked, collapse that spine, come back, reach, part the arms, sweep around, big stretch over the top. Stay scooped on the way back. Sit up tall, slight bend of the knees today for spine twist, hands behind the neck, sitting up tall. So we're pitching this rib cage forward, flat back, rotate slowly. Go ahead and bring your hands underneath the thighs. Seated balance here. 
stomach massage. So we're still at one leg extension. Collapse your spine, round it back here, knees are in. As we lift up into this V position, we're gonna extend one leg up. Balance here and lift up. Slight lean back, slight lowering of the legs. Pull it in, round the back. Let it go, open up. Consistent breathing. One more, each leg. Good. All right, feet down, spine stretch. V position, big stretch over the top. Exhale. Inhale up, exhale over. One more. Okay. Go ahead and bring your legs together. We're gonna come back on our elbows, leaning back. <clears throat> All right, slight bend of one leg. This leg is grounded. This leg is doing the work. We're keeping it straight for leg lifts here. Remember, abdomen is pushed upward and we're breathing. So straight leg lift up and down, up and down. Good control, relying upon strength of the hip. We are not Kicking, creating momentum. We are lifting and lowering. One more. And switch. one. Good. Come on down to your back. Go ahead and pull both knees in again for knee hug. Releasing that back. We're going to go ahead and turn over at this point for some tummy exercises. So go ahead and bring your feet down and you're going to roll to your side and turn over to your tummy. All right, some trunk work here, so that means our legs stay down. Um, we are going to keep our arms folded here in front. <clears throat> so we are just lifting our trunk with folded arms here, pressing that pelvis down, keeping those legs down, exhaling as we lift. keeping these arms down here, keeping our head down. This is what's gonna happen here. It's a double leg lift into a curl. So it looks like this, pressing my pelvis down. I lift both legs up. I'm going to curl, flexing my feet, keeping my knees off the ground, extend my legs back out, pointing the toes and lowering the legs. Let's see if we can get a full exhale with this entire move. Here we go. Exhale, lift, curl, extend, and down. Inhale, up, in, out, and down. Up, in, out, and down. One more. Up, in, 
out and down. Hands out to the sides of your chest. This is that slow warm up push up into low back stretch. Here we go, nice and easy. Up and back. Down nice and slow. One more, up and back. Kneeling tall. <clears throat> okay, so we're gonna combine our hip thrusts with our mermaid exercise. Um, I think we've done this before. However, this time when we pull our hips back, usually our arms just come straight ahead, okay? and then arms come back. When we pull our hips back, I want us to sweep our arms around to the sides and really lead our head here. And then we're going to pull the hips forward, arms come back, right into mermaid. Nice, easy side bend. Other side, arms down. All right, here we go. Pull back, forward, Tighten your glutes, swing your mermaid. Abdominals, abdominals should be nice and snug. Sweep. One more. All right, we have push up, leg, pull down. So you decide, knees bent or traditional. Make sure that your trunk is nice and strong. Abdominals are pulled in, nice and strong through your shoulders. Pull back onto that heel. Kneeling position. Come on down to your side for lying bicycles. All the way down. Hand propped behind the head. So, hand is out in front for balance. Make sure that we're nice and strong in our trunk, holding this position. Leg is elevated. We're going to bend this knee, pull it forward, extend that leg, pull it back. down. Go ahead and extend this arm all the way down. So we're going to try a full body or full trunk lift with an arm sweep. So I'm going to bring this arm all the way over. So I'm balancing here on my side. I'm going to sweep this arm over as I pull my head and my trunk up onto this elbow. So two things are happening here. I'm pressing my hip down into the mat and I'm pulling myself up using my core. Only as high as you can, you feel comfortable. Here we go, sweep, pull, and down. Exhale, lift. So you need to engage those glutes, those abdominals for that core to work. And one more. Good. Come on up. So 
switch sides. Line bicycles. In, out, and back. way down arm over the top again pressing that hip down tightening those glutes pulling those abdominals in we sweep and we pull up and down. All right, knee hug here. Let's center ourselves before we begin again. <clears throat> Second time through. So the second time through, we're gonna try and double up some exercises, okay? Again, if you need to rest at any time and then get right back into it so that you can keep going from one to the next without Pausing. Try and do this. Um, this is helping build our stamina, okay? A single leg into leg extension. So that's that really slow single leg pull into that leg extension down. And then we'll go right into double leg. Our double leg is our traditional with that full arm sweep, okay? So back to back the first two exercises. Go ahead and roll down. Bring your knees with you. And we're going to go ahead and begin. So we are extending up and out, pulling the other knee up and out. Of course, all of those cues, scooping, chin to chest, breathing. Last one, both knees in, reach out and sweep. Last one. And rest. Good. All right. Feet are slightly closer together. This time we're going to add this upward arm sweep with the parted legs at the top. So we're going to go ahead and lift, part, in, and down. This time we'll part the arms as well. So we'll split the arms as well. Here we go. Up. Knees and arms together and down. Up, out, in, and up. Last one. Up, out, in, and down. Good. All right, so we have our crisscross. Uh, followed by our straight legs uh, with the split. Um, we're going to go ahead this time through and just go regular traditional crisscross. And then right after that crisscross, we're going to go into our traditional uh, straight leg switch, straight leg uh, exercise. Okay, so go ahead and bring both knees in with you hands behind the neck, and we'll crisscross, 
across that rib cage. That's what I was trying to say was the second time through for the single straight, we'll do that exercise from the first time, which we just switched the legs from single to straight. So it's in and out. I'll demonstrate it. I'm sorry, I'm confusing you. I was confusing myself. <laughs> All right, both knees in, hands over the top. This one, out and in. Switch legs and in. Gentle pull on the back of the leg and out. Split straight leg, split. One more. Good. Knee hug. And we'll go right into double straight. Legs extended. Head and shoulders up. Hands behind your neck. Really focus on your breathing. Exhale. Arms down. All right, hopefully you're feeling pretty good. Let's try some roll up holds. See if we can lift a little bit higher. So slight bend of the knees, arms outstretched behind our head. Sweeping, exhaling, lifting, squeezing, and down. And up. And down. To get up a little bit further, really press that low back down into the mat as you lift. That's the scooping. One more. Good. All right, roll to your side. Push yourselves up. So we have those roll downs. It's kind of simulating the rowing exercise with the arms at least, okay? Sitting up tall, flat back at the top, arms outstretched here. I'm going to collapse, roll back slightly, pull my hands into my chest, and then reverse. Exhale back. Inhale up top. Exhale back. Inhale. One more. Good. Extend those legs all the way down. Hands out, arms outstretched, hands interlocked. Rowing, collapse, and lean back. Consistent breathing, big breathing through this exercise. Get the most out of your exhale and that front stretch. One more. All right, sitting tall. We have spine twist. This time we'll extend our arms all the way out and slight twist, opening up, slowly twist to the other side. There's no need to rush this exercise. Nice full breathing. Go ahead and bend your knees, 
seated balance. That means feet are off the ground. Scooped, rounded, stomach massage one leg at a time. Lift up, flat back, in, rounded back. Change the position of your lumbar region, spine, changes position. One more. All right, split those legs. Spine stretch, big stretch here over the top. Lead with your chest. And bring your legs together. We're going to come down on our elbows. Straight leg lifts. Root cage lifted. We're lifting up and down. Up and down. One more and switch legs. Remember we're lifting, we are not kicking. Lift and lower. Last one. Good. Come on down. Bring both knees to you. Knee hug. Feet down. Roll to your side. And we're going to turn all the way over. We have trunk lifts. We're going to go ahead and extend our arms out. And we're going to lift, keeping our legs down. Not a big lift. Holding your arms, keeping your head down, double leg lift, flex the feet, curl, out, and down. Up, in, out, and down. Up, in, out, and down. One more up, in, out and down. Hand outside your chest. Slow push up into low back stretch. Finish one more at the top. 
And then we'll go into kneeling tall position. All right, so we have that combination hip thrust into kneeling mermaid. So we're gonna sweep those arms around and up, pull the hips back in, tighten the glutes, mermaid. One more. And we'll go into push-up leg pull-down, modified or traditional. Knees down. Come on down to your side for your line bicycles. Hand propped behind your head. Hand out here for balance. We're going to reverse the bicycle, kicking the leg out first, bending the knee, extending that leg down the line of the other leg. Straight leg out. a good time to notice your breathing. Good. Arm all the way down, arm all the way over the top. Full sweeping trunk lift. Lift. One more. And switch sides. Reverse bicycles. Here we go. Up. Down. And again. All right, all the way down, arm sweep, and lift. One more. And come on up. Seated accordions. Centering ourselves here and let it go.
legs extended. We have arm circles today. <clears throat> and reverse. your arms out in front, face your palms towards each other, and we're just going to pull the hands towards the shoulders, keeping the elbows high. So these are called slices. Strong arms, strong posture. One more. Good. All right. We're going to come on down to our backs. Bring both knees with you. I'm going to let go of one leg. Bring it down to the floor. I'm going to pull this knee straight ahead to get a nice deep stretch here. So this is called a three-point stretch. This is the first stretch in line with the body. I'm just pulling my knee in. The second stretch is keeping this leg bent, this outward arm, outer arm here. I'm just gonna simply pull this knee out to the side and I'm gonna reach out to the floor with the opposite arm. I wanna keep my rear on the floor, my back and shoulders on the floor. And I'm just pulling this knee out away to get a nice groin stretch here, inner hip stretch, okay, inner thigh stretch. I'm going to bring this knee back to center, and I'm going to go into the third stretch. I'm going to bring the arm that was down to the mat over the top of the bent knee, and I'm going to extend my other arm out away from me, and I'm just going to gently pull this knee across and up. So not too far across, keeping my rear on the floor, keeping my shoulders on the floor. The leg is doing the work for the outer hip, as well as that lumbar area and the glute. Bringing back to center, I'm going to go ahead and extend this leg down, bring my other leg in line for that first stretch. Gentle pull in line. Breathing. Second stretch out away, reach out. Gentle pull. We don't want to overstretch, we're just assisting the stretch. Breathing. Back to center, bring the other hand over the knee, extend the other arm down, gently pull it diagonal, stretch across. So you can really feel that stretch in that outer hip. Breathe. to extend this leg down, foot on the floor, bent leg, other foot comes in, knee hug, both legs in, both knees in, gentle pull, this is a great end of the week stretch, really let our muscles go. And go ahead and bring those feet down to the ground and we're going to roll to our side push ourselves up all right 
The other thing I want to do is go ahead and stretch our arms a little bit, okay? So I'm going to bring one arm across and I'm just going to pull to the back of the shoulders. It gives me a nice stretch. If you got a nice stretch on your back and you extended that arm out to the side in that three-point stretch, but the back of the shoulders, upper back might be a little tired, right? Stressed. And then we're going to switch arms. And we're just going to help the recovery of those muscles being tight. Help them back to their natural state. Good. All right, we are done for the week. Great job. Um, a lot of work done this week, so be proud of it. And uh, take some time to recover and maybe easy active, uh, easy active stretching uh, between now and next week. Uh, make sure you get to your weekly connection that will be up for you to answer. Remember you're submitting your answer back to me. Um, and that is all you're doing this week after these four sessions are done. Submit your answer to the weekly connection and you're done for the week. Uh, this all needs to be done by Saturday by 11.55 p.m. So um, enjoy your Halloween <laughs> weekend. Hopefully you get all this done before you, if you're going out, uh, be safe, okay? Um, and stay healthy. Okay, see you next time.